What is up? Gear Squad, Shanger here, brand the video. And today I'm doing a little bit of a, like a review. <laughs> it's a little unexpected, probably. Uh, it was unexpected for me. Uh, you guys are probably on social media a lot these days, right? You know, due to the pandemic, we're all inside chilling. You know, there's, there's not a lot for us to do. You know, we're probably playing video games. Watching shows, movies, anime, whatever y'all are up to. But, you know, there's really not that much to do. And if you're on social media, you're probably seeing a lot of advertisements. Um, advertising spending has gone, like, way, way up. Um, of course, small businesses are struggling, and so they might not be able to advertise as much. But big, medium-sized businesses, um, if, they, if, if they've got that money, they're spending it. Uh, and with that being said... There are always some interesting things that I've seen on social media, you know, uh, different types of foods or, or different um, appliances or, or, or things like that. I've bought a ton of things because of ads uh, on social media. I'm not going to lie. I bought uh, my, my most recent pan, um, frying pan, uh, because of social media. Um, I've bought uh, specific tech products because of social media. Uh, and um, most recently, I was on, I think I was on TikTok, and I saw this ad <sighs> for this uh, soda thing. <laughs> it's called Olipop. Now, if you guys have heard of it, let me know in the comment section. If you guys have heard of this, let me know. I haven't done like a food thing in a long time, um, but I, I don't know what it was, but I, I had to pick this up. Um, basically, what, what people are saying is that this is the healthy alternative to soda. Um, and I'm not actually a big soda drinker. So it's kind of interesting because I wasn't, I wasn't sitting there being like, oh my God, I need my soda. Like I need my, my, you know, Coca Cola, Pepsi. I need my, you know, I don't know, Canada Dry, Sprite, Fanta. You know, I don't, I, nope, I'm not a big soda drinker, but sometimes, you know, you're just craving a little something sweet. And so I was like, you know, let me try this real quick. Now I can't exactly tell you guys how much I spent on it. I honestly don't remember. Um, it's a, it's a sampler pack. It couldn't have been any more than, $30, I don't believe. Um, the sampler pack has um, two of each type of their flavor, I believe. Uh, and that is, uh, it's, it's 12 cans overall. Uh, two sets of six. So 12 cans overall. So it's expensive. It's an expensive soda. You can get a liter of soda, you know, for a dollar, right? Um, if it's not two for one or something like that, you know, it's, it's expensive, but it's supposed to be this healthy alternative. Um, there are a lot of flavors. I just showed you this, uh, ginger, ginger lemon. Uh, but there's a bunch. They've got vintage cola. This is supposed to be their Coca-Cola Pepsi thing. Uh, and I just cracked out the classic root beer. So these are their um, deeper flavors, right? Um, their darker flavors. They have fruity flavors as well. Um, I haven't touched those yet because uh, I have a tendency to like, um, you know, fruit-based sodas more than I like colas and things like that. So I just wanted to try these first, kind of get them out of the way. Um, and I figured I'd do a, a, a kind of a, a quick review, at least of these three, the vintage cola, the ginger lemon, and the classic root beer. I haven't even opened the classic root beer, so we're going to do this um, on, on camera here. But the first thing I wanted to show you is this vintage cola. So the vintage cola, honestly, it tasted like cola. It tasted like diet cola, like it didn't taste like like a diet Coca Cola. Pepsi's sweet. If you guys like, I'm a, I'm I'm much more of a Pepsi fan than I am a Coca Cola fan. If you like Coca Cola and you like diet, you'll probably like this. And let's just be super clear. Um, this soda is it's called a sparkling tonic, so it's not even called a soda. Um, it's got prebiotics, um, botanicals, plant fiber. Um, they call it. They say it's it's plant powered. Two grams of sugar per can. Two grams. That's pretty good. Um, 35 calories per a can, which is pretty cool. Um, it, it contains 3% juice, so there is uh, a lot of juices in here. Um, the first ingredient is water, so that's always a good thing. Uh, and then they have this whole thing called Ollie Smart, and that is like where all of the um, all of the different you know like plant stuff comes in: chicory root, um, artichoke. Uh, all these different roots and fibers, uh, and you can see it all, all here. If you want to read it, you can pause it or whatnot. It's all right there, and you can see here the calories, 35. You can see the sugars, 2 grams. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's not bad. There's no protein, but there's 9 grams of dietary fiber, so that's pretty good, too. It's good for your, supposedly good for your gut is what people have been telling me. So this is good. 
This is good. I, I I liked it. But again, I'm not a huge fan of of diet sodas anyway, and that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a diet Coca Cola. It does not taste like taste like Pepsi. It tastes like a diet Coca Cola. So if you like that, it's there for you. Um, now this one, ginger lemon. I love lemon and I love ginger. This hit the spot for me. This didn't taste like diet anything. It just tasted like straight up ginger lemon sweet tonic thing it didn't taste necessarily like straight up soda i don't know any ginger lemon sodas uh unless they're like bougie you know you went to a really nice restaurant that sounds like organic food or something like that um but this was honestly really good like i would buy a case of this to be honest with you it was really tasty i love lemon i love ginger i actually make a lot of um like lemon ginger tea so this was just a sweet version of that that also had fiber in it right like it's good it's good now let's go ahead and crack open the classic root beer Let's go ahead and do this thing because I'm interested in how this uh, is gonna. Hold up, hold up. Let me let me open it. Up. Ooh, that's nice. Let's go ahead. It smells just like root beer. I don't know what are your guys' like favorite root beer, like A and W. Like I don't even know like what 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 root beers are there out there that are like super popular. Um, but let's go ahead and and do this. Same thing as always. Two grams of sugar, thirty five calories. Um, nine grams of dietary fiber. Let's go ahead and, and give it a shot. Ooh, that's smooth. Hold up. Oh yeah, it tastes like a light root beer. It doesn't taste like a diet root beer. It tastes like a light root beer. Like, what does that mean? I don't even really know. But it's like, it's like if they just, if they turn, if they left the water machine on, the water machine, the water hose, the water spigot, the water, whatever, too long when they were making the batch of root beer and they were like, oh crap. And then they like sent it out anyway. That's what this tastes like. Like a watered down root beer. Like if you were, if you bought a bottle of root beer and then you were like, oh man, I can't have that much sugar. And then you like watered it down. Like it tastes better than that. Like it tastes like it's supposed to be like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let, let me tell you something, guys. If you're trying to lose weight, if you just want to be healthier, if you miss soda and you haven't been drinking soda recently, these are pretty good. This thing right here is, is pretty good. This isn't a sponsor, by the way. I, um, I had a drink, uh, partner at one point, um, and, uh, that partnership ended. Um, it was just a time based thing. Uh, there is another drink that might be coming up soon at some point, but I like doing these. I like doing like little reviews and things like that um, for this. I don't have a code or anything. It, oh, you know what? If I do, I will post it down in the description. I'm not sure if I do. I'm sure I could find some code, you know, to get like percentage off at least or something like that. So let me see if I can find something for you guys. But um, Olipop, Olipop, it's expensive. This is not like, you know, if you're if you're a kid or you don't make your own money, eh, you probably don't want to be spending your money on this. You know what I'm saying? Like this isn't, if you're a kid and you're trying to buy video games and you save it up for your video games, just just buy your video games. But if you're an adult and you got some money to spend and you just want some soda and you, you don't want to feel bad about it, you know what I mean? Um, this is actually pretty good. So I, I'm excited to try the fruit flavored ones because those are my favorite. Um, my favorite sodas are like, you know, Sprite, Fanta, uh, things like that. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about Olipop, um, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. If you like this food stuff, if you like uh, these kind of like mini reviews and things like that, let me know. I like these. These are fun. They're small. Um, I know I don't like do a bunch of editing uh, anymore recently. I, this My computer is, is struggling um, and I got a new one coming. So uh, let me know if you like these. Either way, guys, I will see you guys online. Um, hopefully talking about some more food and drinks. <laughs> but other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.